Hello and welcome. In our previous video, we were able to create a blog uh, page and we were able to also create uh, the view for individual posts such that whenever you click on any of these uh, cards for the blog post, uh, you can it uh, navigates you to the actual uh, blog posts, uh, which are represented also by the UUID, uh, UDK uh, identifier. So in this, uh, you know, you know, as it is right now, we can only create posts uh, from the administration panel, and uh, this should not be the case. Uh, so we want to be to enable this uh, the user user to be able to uh, create a blog posts, uh, whether they are even if they are not the uh, administrator. So in the in and in this case, we will be working with uh, the forms. So we will create a a Django form in which will enable the user to be able to to uh, enter information, and then we will also uh, extend this, or we will also create a view to enable the user to be to be able to upload uh, or to be, to enable the the template to uh, create these uh, posts. So. Our first step will be to go to the view.py use .py file, and you remember we had uh, imported uh, the template, the list view, and the uh, detail view. So under the Django generic edit views, you're going to import the uh, the create view, and also we shall also work with the update view, and later on we'll work with the delete view. So these are the three uh, kind of uh, imports that we'll be using in this case. So I'm just arranging it. Yeah. So in our case, uh, we have the blog list and blog detail view. So I will just copy this, the class based view. Then I will paste it here and uh, modify it. So in this case, we will have these as the blog create view and it will inherit the create view. And uh, in this case, we will have the model as, as it is because you're working on the blog post model. And for the, uh, for these contexts of the name, uh, maybe I can just Maybe I can just leave it for now, and then I will have the blog article uh, create delete, and then I will do the same for the edit. And in this case, I will call this update. Which will enable somebody to maybe amend the post or change some something. So we will call it. Uh, we will use update view. Then I'll just call it update. So you know, we will do the same for this. And then finally, we will have the delete view. And this one will make use of the delete view. And then I'll just replace this suffix to delete. Yeah, so we have just created three views. And, uh, and one additional thing is that we need to have, uh, when you delete, you need to uh, go somewhere, you need to uh, maybe use, return back to the blog posts. So we will make use of the reverse uh, a success URL, like the one we had in our contact page whenever you submit. So um, actually, I can just copy this. I can paste it there. And uh, this will point to the, we'll make use of the reverse, uh, reverse lazy from the Django URLs. 
So you can just add it below this. So from Django URLs. Easy. So if we delete the blog posts, we'll be able to uh, we get back to our blog. So make use of previous lazy, uh, which takes uh, a URL for the blog posts, which I'll copy from the main blog. So we have these blog posts. Inside the views, we'll add the blog posts so whenever you delete the otherwise if we do not add these then you're going to have to see some errors in the uh, page so i'll now create these templates and uh, we have the blog article create dot html Then we have blog article delete. And then we have the, the one which is update. Blog article update. HTML. So we have the three the three HTML files, and uh, now the next thing will be to create these uh, forms that uh, work with the, the forms for these views for creating and updating at the very least. So let's work on that uh, by opening the forms.py file. So we only have the contact form. Yeah, we only have the contact form. Uh, but let's see what happens uh, when we just we will plug in the we'll add in the views here in the urls.py first uh, we have the blog create view and we have the blog update view and finally we have the blog uh, delete view and uh, i'm just going to duplicate this have three new views so we have the this one will be blog article create this will be blog create view and, this, and uh, we will whenever we are creating we do not have these uh, uuid so we can just set it to create because it's we do not have the blog post already yet so in when we are updating uh, we will we already have the uh, this uh, UUID. So we will have it there. Then we can add update at the end. And then it will be blog article update. And then finally we have the delete view. And uh, this one will have the delete suffix blog article delete and then also have the delete uh, route added. So we've been able to add the three uh, three views for creating, updating, and deleting. So this is think of this like the uh, CRUD kind of a workflow where we have the create, read, update, and uh, and delete. Uh, so we have we have uh, the next thing will be now uh, uh, working on the template, and I'm just going to. Copy this form. Actually, let me just copy the whole the entire uh, HTML. So we'll start with the create. And uh, I'm going to add this as blog. Uh, I'll call it create. blog post then I can add this create blog post and for 
the method, it is a post method, uh, cross site uh, forgery uh, attack. We are using this to prevent that. And then we are loading this form as a crispy form so that it can be kind of styled. And I can probably leave these as submit. And uh, let's see how what happens. When I go to the create page. So we have blog post. Create. Yeah, so we do not, we are missing something called fields. Okay. So whenever you create a form, uh, whenever you create uh, the, the view for the post, you need to add which fields do you want to see or which fields do you want to make use of. So you're going to go back to the views and inside the create view, you're going to add something here called fields. And those fields are going to be gotten from these uh, models. So I can make reference to the model. So the ID is not editable. So we will have the title, uh, author, and body. Let me just begin by that. And it'll be in a list. So we have the title. Author, and then we'll also have uh, body. Let's see for starters how this looks like. We will do a refresh. Yeah, so this is how it looks like. Okay. So probably I can add some title there. You can see we have these author, then we have the body. So let me uh, go make the body at the model and see all the other fields. And we have published, created, updated category. Uh, yeah, probably we can add the category uh, inside the view. And then we can add something else. We can add the which other field. Uh, I think we can also probably allow the user to set the status if they are if the it is uh, published or otherwise. Then we can leave it at that. Let's refresh this page. And you see we have all these fields, yeah. And they'll be styled by Django crispy form. So let's see what happens. Uh, let's create a sample post of the title. And you can see these stars indicate that these are required fields. So whenever you try to probably do a submit, it will tell you that you need to fill in the, this field. So we have, uh, say the body, we can probably add this, the star. This is a sample post for the category and put it as other. Maybe you can set the status as published. So let's see what happens when you click submit. Yeah, so uh, there is an issue. Uh, so we do not have the reverse URL when you click submit. So inside this create view, we also need to add what happens when you click on submit. So we will add uh, what you call the success URL that you have added, you have seen it here. Then we will make use of the uh, reverse lazy. And then we're going to also move, let me just copy this uh, to make the work easier. So I'm going to do a refresh. Uh, whenever I, let me know do a submit. Yeah, you'll notice that it has added twice. I had already clicked submit earlier. So that's why it has uh, done this. But nevertheless, we can see that the logic is being uh, kind of uh, respected or followed. And you can see that you can see this is a sample post. Let's try creating uh, more posts. Uh, create. 
Oh, yeah, I've missed something here. Post create. And uh, uh, this is um, awesome post. And I can also select the author. And uh, I can add some additional content here. This is a uh, Django uh, blog uh, developed in Django and, uh, and Bootstrap. Okay, so we can just have that for now. And then inside category, I'll also select other and I'll also select published. So you see that the post now can be, you can be able to add it. So let's see if, uh, let's now uh, look at the logic for editing or updating these blog posts. So we will go back to our code and uh, inside the uh, edit or update, I will just copy this logic here. I'm going to paste it and I'll call this title edit blog post and uh, I'll add the title here as edit post and uh, I think I can try and change the button. Submit button. Yeah. Uh, let me save that and then we can go back to our uh, these. Let's select these any blog post like this Docker desktop. And after the UUID, we will add the update. So we have an issue. Uh, the issue comes in because we have not stated once again this we have we have seen this issue earlier. We have not stated which fields we are editing. So we are going to go back to our views once again and probably see how we can we can edit these fields. And uh, likewise, we will also need to go into the when you click on submit, you will also need a success URL. Okay, so let me just not put it and see what will happen. Uh, yeah, so we have all this information, and you can see that this information is in uh, HTML. So we will need to probably do something about it, like escape uh, characters and what have you. So let me just change something here. Let me probably remove these anchor tags. And, uh, well, let me just reduce, okay, let me remove the anchor tags. And then maybe below the list I can add uh, H1 or H4 element. I can say Docker is awesome. And then I can yeah, probably save uh, this and create it as published yeah so uh, so it's complaining the reverse for these blog posts is not found this is because we have omitted or we have not added the uh, success URL so see whenever we do that and then we click on submit let's look at our docker post docker post you see that we have added this h1 element below here so the logic for editing blog posts, uh, we have been able to add it. Uh, let's try and edit another post like this one which we had uh, created. So I'll just add an edit, uh, not edit, but update. Yeah, so I've realized that it is picking up uh, L L HTML elements. So I'm going to probably add something here. Uh, an, an ordered list, then I said it. I add uh, some list there. Uh, maybe I can try and add something, uh, some names inside here. Then I see what happens. Then I close my unordered list tags. Yeah, so you see how it looks like. I have added these two buttons, so on submitted, so it has updated. 
So the update logic is uh, works. And, uh, and the next, uh, let's now look at the delete uh, posts. And uh, to make the work easier, we're going to we're going to add some buttons uh, probably inside the blog post here. Uh, next to this back button, we'll have the edit and delete. But uh, first of all, let's work on the delete uh, logic. So inside the delete posts, uh, we, we also have the success URL. And uh, we will, let's see, the delete uh, article, blog article delete. So we will similarly copy this logic and paste it here. And uh, we can call it delete delete blog posts, and uh, we'll have these as delete. And uh, we can add these as uh, bootstrap buttons. We have, I think, danger or warning uh, the themes, but it will look, uh, it will appear red. Uh, let's see what happens if we add the delete. So you can see it is asking us if we really want to delete. Uh, it, it is not very, very please. Uh, it's not very uh, set uh, arranged very well. So I need to add some text here that asks, "Do you want? Do you really want to delete this post?" And uh, I don't know. Probably I can add it. Uh, somewhere. I'm not sure if I'll add it inside here. Uh, You really want to delete uh, these posts? Uh, let's see what happens. Yeah, so it asks you, do you really want to delete uh, these posts? And you can click uh, yes, or you can uh, move back if you wish. Uh, I think I can add another button here. It, um, I can call it uh, what I can call it maybe primary primary button and then I can uh, maybe say I think I already have the back uh, we do not have the back button so go back And actually, this one I can just set it into a, an anchor tag, and which will be of type button. Uh, let me just refresh. Yeah, so we can have that as go back. And uh, we need to add a link href. It will be equal to. It will take us back to the blog. Uh, blog post, and uh, I'll have to fetch that URL from the URLs that we have the specific blog posts. So we can say blog article. Edit blog article. So I'll have the URL. The URL name is uh, the blog article. And uh, the arguments are post ID. I'm not sure if I mean, let's see whether it will work. Uh, we can also post dot get. Absolute URL. If it doesn't work, then we will really look for an alternative. Yeah. yeah so it will, it does not take us to our intended. Uh, so for now, make uh, allow it to go to the blog posts. Uh, URL blog blog posts. Yes. 
So if you click back, it's going to take you back to the blog posts. Uh, if you to submit, then it deletes the post. So we have two sample posts. Let me click on this one and uh, add a delete a route. Then click on submit. You see that it has disappeared. I can also delete this other one as well. Then click on submit. And you can see now we are back to having all our four posts. So we have been able to demonstrate the CRUD application and uh, now there is only one issue that we may be having here. Whenever you try and edit these posts, you'll realize that it should be updated. You'll realize that you can also edit the author, which is not very pleasing. And then you also see that this form looks a bit funny. Uh, we want this form to appear as it appears in the admin page. Uh, let me just show you. You want it to appear the way it looks uh, uh, like here in the uh, blog posts using this uh, the Django CK editor. So you want this form to be to appear like this. So let's see. We're going to see in the next tutorial. We're going to see how we can customize uh, uh, this so that it can look pleasing and then. The other thing is that, uh, let's see what happens when we do a logout. You'll realize that probably you can also be able to edit or update. Yeah, you see we are logged out, but you can be able to edit these posts. I won't, uh, we need to enforce that. Uh, you need to be a logged in author in order to uh, probably add this uh, edit or edit the posts, or even create the posts. You need to be a registered or a signed up user so that uh, you can be able to do an edit of the post. So if you like this video, uh, kindly uh, drop a like, and uh, you can also subscribe to my channel for more content. And don't forget to click on the notification button or the bell icon for the notification so that whenever I upload some content, you can be able to uh, get a notification. Thank you for watching.